Welcome back, everyone, to more Dark Souls Remastered. Okay, so last time we ended up uh, coming around here. As you can see, um, Diegmeier is gone. Our Crestfallen Knight is gone. And I kind of wanted to show you guys that this guy is here, uh, Logan. Oh, hello again. I was waiting to tell you. Master Logan has returned, and he tells me that he has you to thank. Well, we are both in your debt now. Thank you, sincerely. He's just over there. Go along and have a chat. Oh, hello. I appreciate the attention, but you really should speak to Master Logan. That will certainly do you more good. I mean... Have you spoken to Master Logan? No. He is an accomplished scholar. The arts of sorcery would never have come this far without his contributions. And he has the nerve to go risking life and limb. What a stubborn old fellow. <laughs> Have you spoken to Master Logan? He is an accomplished, and he has... <laughs> okay. Doctor. Goodbye, then. Do stay safe. Doctor Logan. Hello there. I was expecting you. you? As promised, I will share my sorceries. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm afraid that you are unable to learn sorcery. The basic <laughs> framework, you see... It cannot be taught. Oh, do not fret. Life isn't all about sorcery. You will find your own way. Don't frown with regret. Peer forward with your head high. I mean, it's not like I wanted to learn magic anyway. So. Hello there. Glad to see you alive. That's it. Because I don't have the intelligence, literally, to... Uh... Uh... Yeah, because I literally do not have the intelligence to to continue further. That's he. Just, that's it. <laughs> he won't talk to us anymore. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna warp on down to the Daughter of Chaos, and I'm gonna show you guys what I've done. Uh, uh, black. Uh, well, high romancy wise, and then we'll continue moving forward. Really. I gotta... Okay, so here's Miss Quailana. Actually, let me... Let me do one last thing here, because I think I need 16,000 uh, souls... ...in order to get my other Pyromancy. So I did level up Pyromancy one time, that's it. So oh, my pyromancy is at uh, plus eleven right now. It has been some time, truth be told. I... I hate these things, honestly. Ah, uh, truth be told. Yeah, she thinks we perished. Sixteen, exactly. So we need nineteen to hit it to plus thirteen. I thought that there was something coming at us. Apparently, okay. Ah, uh, I was expecting you. But now. Let's talk to her. Please, do not speak of her. I abandoned my mother and sisters and fled to this land. Now I roam these parts, feigning ablution and pretending to seek answers. Pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame. Lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. Uh, nothing else to purchase because I. Well, young pupil, but do not. Okay, so basically, uh, there's no no luck because I basically bought all of her pyromancies. I do believe that once. Uh, nice, I do believe that once. Um, once we purchase all of her, all of the uh, the pyromancy glove upgrades, you can. Uh, she will tell you one last thing. It's one last request from her, which is uh, to dispose of the Witch of Isolith. So this, it is something that we are going to do. Right now, we're looking for somebody. See if I can find him. There he is. Siegmeier's over there now. He's just taking a nap, I think. I don't want to pull anything, so I'm gonna. 
Yeah. Yeah, these things get these things pull quick. All right, I'm still I'm taking damage, but not as much. Ow. I was really hoping these things would uh, would give me something, but whatever. Snoring. There's like. You see, I'm actually in a bit of a fix. I've made it this far, but I'm short on antidote mods for the trip back. Um, by my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask, but can you spare a few scraps of mods? Yes. Fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Kind of see him through the mask there well, at the pier shield. Our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this too is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> the pier shield is his shield, of course. Uh, he's holding the poison swamp. I quit Denheiser. The poison swamp. I quit standing there. Hmm. Yeah, literally. All right, so he's done talking to us. Uh, actually, we're done talking to him. But let's just uh, don't have the homeward bone. Let's homeward bone back. Uh, for our last bonfire, which should be uh, should be a fire link. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. So now we talked to Seed Ma uh Ziegmeier. Uh we've spoken to all the NPCs that we need to right now. Our pyromancy glove is a lot stronger. Let's talk about something really fast when it comes to my pyromancies here. I have great combustion now. Let me just show you guys. I am using I have the power within. I have great combustion. I have great fireball and I have fire whip. Now, um, gr great combustion is phenomenal. It's super powerful. Uh, great fireball is pretty much the same thing as um, as great chaos fireball. The only difference being that. Great Chaos Fireball leaves a, like, magma pool. Or lava pool, essentially. Uh, but essentially, uh, the damage is pretty much the exact same. You, there's pretty much no difference. So, and it, the, the, the Chaos... Um, the, the Chaos spells take two slots compared to one. So I figured, you know... This would be the easiest bet. So we're gonna skip this. So we already know what happens with that. So now we're gonna go and fight the boss left over in this dungeon. We saw him at the very beginning in episode one. That big demon. Not the one we killed before. The other one. God damn, guys. Oh. These guys are not that strong, but, you know. Just be cautious. They can do some serious damage like before. Ow. I'm gonna... I rested there just be, just in case. I'm not sure how much damage I'm gonna be doing, so we're gonna find out right now. He's right behind us, so... You take a lot of damage, as you can clearly see. 
Oh! And he dishes out a lot of damage as well. Be careful of that. Trying to get... Oof, god damn. What the hell? Where's that shit coming from? Okay, the shield can do some damage. Does that stupid stomp thing. Somehow the aftermath still got me. Gonna do it again. I'm gonna top myself off. Gonna do it again. Gonna use Fire Whip. Back up. Go again. And I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, let me let me show you guys this. Let me show you guys just how powerful that spell actually is. Oh shit! Hey, got me on that one. Oh come on! That's not even funny. Ooh, now he's, he's fucking pissing me off now. Okay, let's go get him. Gonna do it again. Back up. Go in. Right there. Go in. <laughs> See that? Now the thing with fire with uh with the thing with power within is that I'm losing life. You can see it's it's draining me consistently. That's where it becomes problematic. Um, aside from that, though, hey, Titanite slap, nice. Aside from that, though, um, it's it's quite handy if you aren't prepared to you know get yourself killed. I'm not really sure if there's like a ladder here. Cause I kind of need to get. Up there. There we go. And it's just gonna keep going. I think it lasts uh, about a minute, but it'll it'll basically drain you to a point where you get kind of scared <laughs> at its intensity. Okay, so there we go. It's gone now. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on. Where are you? I'm gonna put on the uh, the Hornet Ring. I'm gonna try and backstab the Black Knight to death. Pretty fucking good. That worked out. Now why did we do this for this? This, aside from being our original spot, there's this now. A peculiar doll that will come in play later on in the playthrough. I don't think you can basically do anything with these. Uh, these are still the same uh, tutorial, uh, tutorial messages, nothing crazy. Um, that was pretty much it here. We're just going to go the same, uh, the same way from whence we came. Now, they provide you with a homeward bone just in case you killed the boss without even, without resting here at this bonfire and just hauled ass uh, on your own accord. Now you can see just how big that hole is. So be very careful. And we're just gonna... Okay. 
Alright, good. We're just gonna make our way back. And curl up once more. Now we're gonna go down into uh, into that skelly area that we went around or close to in the in the first game, the suicide run area. We're gonna try and knock that out right now. Not right. I mean, at least a part of it. Okay. Good. Ooh, okay. Let me get myself close to this area right now. I'm gonna rest at the bonfire real quick. But yeah, um. I'm not a fan of Fire Whip. Um. There's a lot of these that I can't even use, because they're moles, they're for intelligence. Um, Firestorm, uh, again, not a fan of Firestorm, just because it takes so long to do. Let's, uh, let's keep it on. I might be able to show you guys with the boss down there. Uh, let's, uh, let's, oh. Should I, uh... Did I do my pyromancy once again? It's another, it's another trek down to the freaking. Uh, let me just, let me, let me do that some other time. So now, okay, now, on. I'm gonna level up my vitality to 32. It looks pretty okay right now. Uh, after 32, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I'm also gonna do this. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put a little bit more effort into uh, dexterity. I I am gonna stay quality, but I'm gonna do more qual uh, more dex than strength just because of a weapon we're gonna pick up that I really want to use. Um, it's arguably the best dex weapon in Dark Souls Remastered, and I'm excited to use it because I've never used it before. So now we have the Divine Club plus five. Uh, I'm gonna two-hand it. Don't talk to this guy. Ignore him. He can chatter his teeth as much as he wants. We're not gonna talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. I want to talk to his brother. We'll get to him later on. So, just to show you guys exactly how this goes. These guys are going to wake up. You're doing some pretty decent damage, even, even for a club. So, got to keep that in mind as well. But the best part about this is that when you kill them, they don't come back. Because you're using a divine weapon. And it's 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 almost as if they want you to do this because they give you the occult club right off the bat. And immediately after, as you saw in my playthrough, you can just go and turn it into uh oh, scimitar. You can just go and turn it into divine right off the bat within the same area. You're not it's not like they're not trying to get you to they're not tricking you, or there's no like secret place or, or way of doing it. It just is, you know, and that that is awesome right there. I mean, it's not the worst role. Right? Ow. Alright, let's see how much damage I do if I don't this because these guys uh these guys explode they they do their thing actually let me see do i have how much i want a weapon with a little bit more stability or uh a shield 
with a little bit more stability. Well, obviously, that's heavy. Giant shields. Fucking this guy's shield. That is 40, 30. Oh, God, it's horrifying. The Hollow Soldier Knight has more, a little bit more stability. And has 100 physical. Knight, uh, this one as well, 60. B. A Boulder Knight shield. This four pounds, though, is quite heavy. Alright, let's keep this one on. Just to see what the stability change does. Uh, the kite shield... Uh, wait for it to explode. Nice. That did zero. So before, with the 95.0... Um, You can, you can still, you can still block, but at the same time, it's, it's, I have to jump down here or what? Oh. You can still block, but at the same time, it's going to be difficult to do so. Yeah. You can just get two hits here with that, and then you're good to go. You're better off two-handing it if you want. Um, but yeah, like, you can... You don't... Essentially, what I'm trying to say is you don't take damage. Ugh. You do not take damage when you're blocking. Because it has 100% physical. This guy just hit me with a freaking... Bruh, just... Okay, you know what? The club does work. The club does some work. Now you can uh, you can rest at the bonfire if you want. Uh, I don't intend on dying here because basically the only enemies in this area before we get to a secret bonfire are skeletons, and I think with ten Estus I should be good. Fingers crossed, I don't die because I, I don't I just kinda don't want to rest here. And then these two come back. I just, just I don't want to deal with it. Okay, so I have a I, I wrote down some notes just so I don't get lost here. Um So just in case some of these statues are booby trapped, so be careful with that. Okay, so right off the bat, right there is a necromancer. So we're gonna go. Ugh. I really should put a put a storage. We're gonna go and we're gonna poison the lad. Right there. Okay. Go. <laughs> and he's poisoned. I kind of. Wait a little bit, just, you know. He'll try to throw a little fireball here and there. He sees us, he's angry. But he'll he'll die eventually. You got these guys as well doing that thing. Uh I don't like I don't like all these little skellies doing all this stuff that they do. But I really gotta watch myself. Because apparently this guy can hit me. Got some range, huh? Good lord. But you can see he's almost dead. The poison's ticking away at him really well. Alright. Got some other skellies here. Ow. Ow. Come on, Buster. There he goes. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play this nice and slow, methodical and easy. Um, this is I'm gonna try to make this very similar run to. There's an archer there. Be careful. I'm gonna make this a very similar run to. Um, 
of it. Very similar run to Blight Town's run. Now, if they're hurting, okay. If they keep hurting me to a to a to an excess like that, I'm I might just switch over to the shield. But for now, I think I'm good. Um, okay. Okay. Slowly going this way. We're doing good. Keep moving forward. Trying to make sure nobody else is around here. Oh! Jelly trap. Okay, good. The Lucerne. I haven't heard him uh, I haven't heard many uh, many things on the Lucerne. Not a lot of good things, anyway. So. Can't really, uh, we can basically pass on that one. Okay. This guy here. Okay. We're down here. There's our archer. That's it. Can't break that, but whatever. Go. Large soul. All right, so right here. You can see that our friend is back there. He's kind of moving now. He's now he's in view. I wait for him to stop moving here. He's kind of leaning towards the side there a little bit, and he killed himself. And so did the other guy. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, sure that works. Okay. Uh. Okay, now, there's... We came from there. So this is where we go now. Okay, go here. Get ready. Take some damage. Like I said, these traps... Wait for this guy. These guys actually hurt the skellies, apparently. Works for me. That guy's gone. That guy's doing his thing. Yeah, look at that. With this shield, I can actually... Uh, I can just take the damage without getting hurt at all. Okay. 100% resist. That's awesome. Alright, so over here... Over here is another another uh, another thing, but I, hmm. if I remember correctly, patches should be there. So I wonder if I I wonder if I'm doing something incorrectly. Right at the bridge. Okay. So then we're just gonna make our way back. Hopefully we can see patches. Um, I if not, then I'm not entirely sure why he doesn't show up yet. Maybe. All right, immediately after the bridge, we're going to go this way. Uh, we're going to fall in here. And you're going to see some lizards, right? All right. Got the... That's two lizards. So what, we're, uh, what I'm going to do is this. I'm gonna quit out. Come back, and the other lizard should be there again. Because it's two lizards, you can't exactly uh, grab that. There it is. 
We'll get it real quick. Oh no! Ah, uh, fuck. Maybe if I stand here, it'll do its thing. Cause you gotta be like right on. Apparently, you gotta be right on top of it. Cause a little bastard just is too fast. Too fast. There he goes. Got him. Good. All right. Good to go. Go up the ladder. All right, so here, um, here, drop down here. I think there's a, there's another great, uh, here, I think it is. Oh, it's this one right here. Boom. All right, so now we're back here again. These guys are back. Watch out for them. Obviously, they're quite dangerous. All right. Run path. Okay, go straight down. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go down here. Got some skellies here. These guys would be good to... Would jump here. This is a thing. Ow. Really, really can't avoid that one, unfortunately. Okay, kill him there. At the soul of a proud knight. Yes, yes, yes. Come down here. To a lot of skeletons. A lot of skellies here. Thing. Again. Back up here. Okay, so now, this is closed off for now. We're going to open it up right now. Got Skelly there. Going to pull some random tricks. Okay. Dead. Now we got Pyromancer guy here. Art. Right, there we go. Got him. I was really hoping to backstab him. Oh, we got him. Nice. Dead in one go. We'll get to that soon, and that's what I want to get. Pull the lever. Okay. So if you want, you can continue to drop down. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to go back up. And this is open now. So that is a dead end, obviously. You don't want to go through there. You want to come down through here. I'm holding up my shield just in case. I'm trying to be safe. Alright, there's a spiky thing here. A lot of skellies. Secret wall. Leading to the bonfire. And now, this one, we're gonna, we're gonna sit down on this one. So, um, secret bonfire, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb up here real quick just to take a peek. He's gone. Where? I wonder what I did wrong. Because, um, technically Patches is supposed to be there. What the hell's going on? I don't even know. I'm just gonna go down. I'm gonna run down. Avoid this guy. Avoid all the skellies. Roll. Holy shit, that was close. Don't get that. Being tight knight. Jump like this. Take some damage. Perfectly fine. 
Go down here. He's an angry little guy. Fuck. This guy. Okay. Oh my. They're all somehow dropping down. Okay, so. Another bonfire. Don't sit on this one, obviously. We're gonna... Um, we would not be... Other, otherwise, we won't be able to return. Okay, this right here. That leads to the boss but there's also a very dangerous set of enemies so we're going to be dealing with them in a different fashion in a way that i've never dealt with them before so i'm excited to do it talk to this guy first nobody wants the ember that i have so you can purchase stuff let's talk to him Oh, fuck. Impossible. Wait, say it again? I've told you, I have, if I have anything to offer, speaking honestly, I must say that I'm at my very limit. There's no more work to be done. Oh, unless I have the flame of that legendary witch. But that will require a visit to Lost Isolate. Impossible. Okay. Well, what was that about? Don't be coming around here without a good reason. Hmm. Okay, so let's uh, use the homeward bone. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna go uh, through here. Go back up. I guess we're just gonna do this it's a shame i wonder why what I, what did i do to not uh to not have patches appear there it's the second time i tried and failed at that he's definitely not up there now otherwise he would have done this on he would have basically taken me out by now I don't get it. Maybe it's because I'm a pyromancer. He doesn't like me. Alright. Go through the fog wall. We got some scalies here. Ooh, nice. Falling down, apparently. I don't even know why. Alright, so those guys are dead. But I hear something. Break that up real quick. There's these guys here, but ow. How the f- Seriously? Come on. How does that even count? Get Dark Moon Ring. Okay, so what is this? Okay, that basically takes us exactly through there and down through there. So these guys are- It almost looks like they're coming my way. Perfect timing, honestly. Wouldn't have wouldn't have liked it any other way. Come here. 
Oof. That does. Ooh, red and white round shield. Cool. So there's nothing else around there for now. Let's just go down. And we should be good if we do that. So let's just... I dropped down anyway. Done. Ow. Go up the ladder here. I got one literally in the middle of my back. That should, like, that hit my spine. I should be dead by now. Get this bastard. Come here, you. Boom. Just like that. You can drop back down. Alright, there's nothing up here, I think, but we're just gonna, we're gonna pop up real quick, just to take a peek. Uh, looks like nothing. Alright. Can move forward. There's a hole there. Big guy. Got him. Dark Moon Seance Ring. Very important to kill one of the uh, one of the secret bosses. Where's that? Where's that hip bone going? I wonder. It's really uh. Okay, almost there. Go back. All right. Go through here. There's gonna be another necromancer. Uh. Okay. Gonna find him very quickly. There he is. All right, Necro's dead. Uh, this. Not really sure where this leads, but it's fine. Uh, okay, kill the Necro. Go up the ladder. Oh God. I would love to do uh, playthroughs, I mean, uh, walkthroughs, but unfortunately, I, I just don't have the time to, to be doing those. Uh, drop down, roll side, roll to side area. Okay, so let's go through here. Obviously, keep yourself prepared. Get a, oh, Tranquil Walk of Peace. I wonder what that does. Obviously, this is where you're supposed to drop. Gonna get ambushed again. Hi. All right. Okay, so now we're back here once more. So now let's go through here. Is it through here? I can't quite remember. Alright. I'm not even gonna bother with him. Uh... Alright, so now... Now we're gonna go back here. And if I remember correctly, I hope I do, we drop down here. You roll, oh. drop down, there we have it. The Great Scythe. We can also drop down here once more. And we're uh, we're in this little spot here. Um, okay, so now I can just... Now... 
now okay so now we're back from uh from the other spot this is where we got this is where we came from before where the all, all the skellies was we got the shield that's exactly that i'm gonna get one last thing and then we're gonna be done uh i was expecting to fight pinwheel today but you know what uh starting off with a heavy boss good enough for me we're gonna go up against a tight knight demon oh uh, like i said i'm not gonna fight him i'm just gonna get the thing done And by the thing, you'll see what I mean. Hopefully he doesn't. All right, go over here real quick. Grab the Eye of Death. Run. Okay. Hop in here. Nestle yourself in the coffin. Stay right where you are. These episodes are getting a little long. <laughs> but I mean, it... It's a long ass game. I mean, I gotta, I gotta do it just to, just to keep it going. You know. Don't worry. We'll get there. Give it some time. There we go. Freaking creepy, in it. Oh. Sounds like we're getting dragged somewhere, doesn't it? Now, we're at the Tomb of the Giants. Uh, more than anything, we're, we're in the battle arena for this guy. Pray to the Sarcophagus Gravelord. Enter the Covenant. By doing so, you get the Gravelord Sword and the Gravelord Sword Dance. You can, offer, you can offer the Eyes of Death uh, to increase your your stuff in the Covenant, whatever. But we just wanted to get the sword. And we're just going to go back. Run. Run. Before, <laughs> before he gets to you. Alright. So now we're here. Large soul. Oh shit. Well. Careful with that. Don't want to. You do not want to step down there for now. I think that's everything around here, right? Okay. So, okay. Here we go. There's one last thing here. Let's drop down here. I think we're good. I want to make sure we're safe, but at the same time, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> here we go. The D bag has some archers. And he hurts. Alright, well, either way. Dead. And like that, we get the Skull Lantern. 
the skull lantern is a definite drop i where does this go again oh don't want to go there do not want to go there that's again the boss area again do not go there uh you get the skull lantern when the last pyromancer is killed or you get lucky and one of the others drops it but um when the last pyromancer is dead when the last pyromancer is dead uh, you're you're good to go well that being said i'm gonna drop the divine i'm gonna put our claymore back Where the hell is my flame? My pyromancy flame. Okay. Okay, so we're good here. Now we can uh, drop down. Once again, be very careful. We're about to fight a knight with a very powerful axe. Poke. And all we got was a chunk. Full of a proud knight. And this is again that area. We will get those two uh, as well. But that's basically all we have here. So what we're going to do is Homeward Bone once more. And that is this area. That is everything that I wanted to cover for today. All right. We're, we're cleared. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, um, again with the feet. Look at my feet. <laughs> this guy really likes fire, man. He's like, he's giddy. He's like a schoolgirl, but with fire. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, we got, we got a lot of stuff done. I, again, I, I feel terrible that I couldn't get patches to appear. It's the second time that's happened. I do not know why he doesn't appear. I guess I'd have to look that up, but we're doing pretty well with the other quest lines. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. We'll get back to this uh, later on in the next episode. Finish off this area and then continue to move forward. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.